Welcome back. The transition from high school to college is a stressful time for students and parents, but there are certain areas to focus on that can really make it a little bit smoother. So joining us today with some great tips for your freshmen is the founder of College Girl and author of How to Pay for College When You're Broke, Jessica Brown. Jessica, thanks for coming back. Thank you for allowing me to always be here. It's such a pleasure. It is fun when you're getting ready to go to college for the first time to pick out your bedspread mm -hmm. and the mini fridge yes. and the notebooks. There are some other really important things you also need to make sure you have in line, like yes. all of your documents. Right, like especially right now, if this week is a great week, it's freshman week, you want to make sure your student account is down packed, that all your documents have been received by financial aid, mm -hmm. all your scholarships, external and internal have been received. Additionally, you're reviewing your meal plan to make sure that you're not paying for more than what you need. Because right. that's definitely a part of your college tuition. And also mm -hmm. making sure parents filling out the Family Educational Rights Privacy Act form. You cannot call mm -hmm. financial aid and ask about your child's situation if your child does not mm -hmm. sign off to give you yeah. access. They're an adult now. Yes, they're an adult now. So you have to fill out that form in order to have access to yes. it. Yes. Okay, but it comes to the meal plan. We were just talking, is that yeah. something you can change? Because I feel like you're going in, you don't, you don't know, know right. how much you're going to use it. Right, you think you're going to eat 20 meals a week right. or 25 meals right. a week, and then you end up eating barely five. Um, so you want to make sure that you're that you make the right decision in terms of your meal plan and if not the next following semester you can make a change okay. to that all right what about scholarships mm -hmm. so scholarships every year over 100 million dollars in scholarship goes unclaimed it is imperative what? that's a lot of money i is. know right <laughs> it's so imperative that you continue to research scholarships throughout your educational journey not just when you're going to school the first week because things happen you need to take a summer class or you may want a refund so you want to make sure uh. that you're applying for as much aid as possible we've talked about this before with scholarships because it's there's something out there for everybody yes. i remember and Such i don't know what it's like now but when i was applying for college there were scholarships for tall girls like yes. over no. over 510 there were scholars i mean it was like maybe a thousand bucks mm -hmm. but that helps that with the helps. books and left stuff. hand yes. glasses yep. wow there is something for everybody out yes, there yes indeed i think for so many of us going to college we had the story of an advisor who really helped set us on a path they made sure we got through in four years yeah. you say it's very important to make sure you connect with that advisor for a freshman right away yes immediately because you do not want to take courses that you don't need because what happens is a lot of times students graduate and end up finding out they have to take an additional course or the courses that they took are not a part of their major. So it's so important that you make that connection now to make sure you're not wasting any money on the back end. Uh, or time, and then all of a sudden you right. want to graduate and be like, wait a second. All your friends are graduating. <laughs> right. just happened? You're still there. All right, so you, we mentioned how the freshmen are adults now. So yes. here comes bank accounts and mm. checking accounts. Yes. So what's the best way for uh, parents and freshmen to really get the most out of that? So you want to make sure whatever institution you're going to that you create a bank account that is partnering with that institution. This way you avoid fees. Um, every time you don't want to go to the ATM and keep paying three to five dollars to take out right. twenty dollars, especially as a yeah. college student, you need every penny. Right. So it's so important that you make sure that you follow up with the institution to see who their partnering bank is. How Do does that help with school too? Yeah. Because you said if you get it through the college, there are some benefits for you. Yes, there's some benefits. Um, there is uh, you are able to avoid fees. There's so many other additional perks that they may provide you on campus. Cash mm. back deals when you're mm. going to spend money. So, mm. And additionally, with that as well if students are shopping make sure you use your student ID many of the stores that are locally around here they, they give you 10% or more back so make sure you're using your student ID so you can cut all costs oh yeah yeah because it all starts to rack up a little bit with the books and yes. everything else yeah. and I wonder too maybe sometimes the banks because they're with the campus if you sell back the books at the end of the year I mean it's just like the banks we use they're gonna have right. perks for exactly you to sign up with exactly them. and that, that's why you definitely want to make sure you're opening up a campus checking account and you have a commercial bank bank because if anything happens you don't want to go back to your credit union all the way on the other side of the west coast yeah, to try to get true. a debit card at the last minute so you want to make sure you have a commercial bank that's local how do you make your freshmen aware of these financial issues and actually care about it because i don't know when i was a freshman i don't know that i actually like paid attention as right. much to i need every bit of scholarship that i can get well that's why it's so important because now student loan debt is more than credit card debt in america at 1.5 trillion dollars so <laughs> right now it is so important that we begin to have these these financial conversations to ensure that our students are attaining financial freedom post-graduation and they are minimizing debt. 
for their families as well. Jessica, you're amazing as yes. always. Where can we find you and more more about all of this? It's just this is just the ice, tip of the iceberg. Uh, you can find me at collegegirl.com and of course the girls G U R L. Additionally at collegegirljb on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thank okay. you. So great to see yeah, you so again. So great to be here. We'll be back with more right after this.